How are you getting on with the phrasal verbs? Are you picking them up easily enough? Or do you think you need to go over them and practice them a bit more? Hello and welcome everyone. This is Minu at AngloLink. First of all, a huge thank you to all of you who have been watching my phrasal verb series and have posted comments and questions for me. Phrasal verbs quiz. Complete the following sentences with the most appropriate phrasal verb. Number one. I don't think I can this situation anymore. I don't think I can put up with this situation anymore. Number two. She was so weak, she almost. She was so weak, she almost passed out. Number three. Don't look so sad. Try to... Try to cheer up. Number four. He... A really good job offer last week. He turned down a really good job offer last week. Number five. My granddad always in front of the television. My granddad always nods off in front of the television. Number six. Sorry we're late. We were by the roadworks. We were held up by the roadworks. Number seven. Several employees have been. Several employees have been laid off. Number eight. I was really by the show. I was really let down by the show. Number nine. How are you with your move? How are you getting on with your move? Number ten. I must sugar. I must cut down on sugar. Number 11. We will at the next petrol station. We will fill up at the next petrol station. Number 12. He got really when he heard the news. He got really worked up when he heard the news. Number 13. I love to with a nice cup of tea. I love to wind down with a nice cup of tea. Number 14. Does this shirt my skin color? Does this shirt go with my skin color? Number 15. They've the elections. They've called off the elections. So, how did you get on? 
I hope you did really well. However, if you are hesitating about which verb completes each sentence, then I think my new course will be useful for you. Remember that, although you can often find a non-phrasal synonym or describe the idea in a different way, there are three good reasons why learning phrasal verbs is worth the effort. Firstly, they are an integral part of the English language. Secondly, as you know, native speakers use them all the time. So if you want to be able to understand native speakers easily, you do need to know your phrasal verbs. And finally, you will sound a lot more natural yourself when you speak if you use phrasal verbs. Thank you all once again for all your support and feedback. I look forward to seeing you on the course or in my next video. Bye now.